My family. Good morning, Britain's. Read Susanna and Richard Madley were having interviews asking why is Megan not coming to the UK? And they've had multiple interviews asking why is Megan, the Duchess of Sussex, not coming to Britain? And they did an interview with a carnival of so called expert called Duncan Lancombe. And another amazing woman called Ate Jo. They were being interviewed on my family, Meghan, not coming with Prince Harry to the UK to attend the 10th anniversary of the in Peter's Game service being held at St. Paul's Cathedral. And my family, for those who don't know who Duncan Lancome is. For a long time, I have always told you the story of a carnival of so called expert who say this words and a quote when Archie comes of age, the tabloids are gonna have fun. My family, I remember watching a documentary about a trip that Harry Meghan did to. South Africa. Archie, at that time, my family had not even learned how to learn how to talk. But already you are having a carnival of so-called experts saying this. When Archie comes of age, the tablets are going to have fun with him. And you all know what fun means to the Wikimedia. Racism, abuse. Bigotry, insults, hounding, stalking, harassment. That is what fun means to the UK public press. My family. And Archie had not even learned how to speak at the time. But already a carnival of so-called expert was thinking about how the tabloids were going to mess up his life. And that's why I have always told you Harry and Meghan are making the best decision to protect their children's privacy. They are doing remarkable, remarkable work. They are doing really, really well to protect their kids' privacy. Very well. And I'm proud of what Harry and Meghan are doing to protect their children's privacy. They are doing really, really well. Because for as long as Wikimedia have no access to Archie and Lily Badana, there's no way they'll ever be able to mess up the lives of Archie and Lily Badana. For as long as Wikimedia have zero access to Harry and Meghan's kids, they will never be able to mess up their lives. Never. For as long as Harry and Meghan continue to protect their kids' privacy, Archie and Lilibet are going to have, my family, an amazing, amazing upbringing. They are going to grow up feeling happy, being happy, and they will thrive for the rest of their lives, surrounded with so much love. Love from their amazing parents, Harry and Meghan. And of course, Doria Ragland. And my family, so Duncan Lancombe was asked a question about Megan. And my family, I want you to be able to hear what was said in that interview, my family. You know? My family, please kindly look at this. Please, my family, I beg of you. I want you to be able to, to my family, see this uh, Interview. Other fast things have soured. It was a fairy tale beginning for Meghan Markle when she married the man of her dreams, became a princess back in 2018 on a glorious day. But since then, we've had Megxit, a rift for the royal family, and of course, all those legal battles against the press. And now, Prince Harry is due to return to the UK next week. Meghan will not be coming with him. In fact, she last set foot in the UK over 18 months ago for the Queen's funeral. So. 
Whose fault is it that Meghan is not coming to Britain? Well, the former royal editor of The Sun, Duncan Larkin, he says it's all her fault. My family, let me just kindly pause there. Let me just kindly pause there, my family, please. Let me just kindly pause there for my family a while. First of all, Richard Madley is a hater who hates on Harry and especially Meghan. My family, based on what he said about how things went wrong, he says Megxit. First of all, first of all, Megxit is a misogynistic term. My family used and coined by the UK media who acquired that name, that word from online trolls online, trolling Megan. And they used that name to describe Harry Megan stepping back as senior members of the royal family. And somehow, by leaving, that was mistake number one made by Harry Megan. My family, let me ask you a question. If you're staying in a very, very toxic environment, even in a toxic workplace, and you have the means to go and get a new job, to go and work elsewhere, to go to a new environment, my family, should you not go to a healthy environment? Should you not go to a more healthy environment, a safe environment? Should you not? According to the Wikimedia by Harry Meghan, stepping back as senior members of the royal family. Somehow, that was crime number one done by Harry Meghan, leaving. My family, what would staying have done for Harry Meghan? Because the thing is, when they were in the UK, Meghan was being abused every day. Piers Morgan was ranting on GMB, on Good Morning Britain, demanding that Meghan go back to America. <laughs> and when Meghan listens, and she goes back to America, they complain. They complain. They say that that is one mistake made by Harry Meghan. My family, fleeing a toxic environment is not a mistake. Staying. Now that is the mistake. Ask the late Princess Margaret what staying meant. Harry in spear dedicated my family, a chapter to discuss what happened to Margaret. And I believe the reason he did that is to just remind the entire world that that's the fate, clearly, the farm wanted for Prince Harry. A life of being unhappy. A life of misery. Which is what William wanted for Prince Harry. Or because he was jealous. Or because he is jealous. Because even despite the fact that Harry has fled the UK more than four years ago, fled the UK four years ago, still William wants to compete against Prince Harry. Still Prince William, on the same day that Prince Harry is coming to the UK, William is pausing his vacation to go and do an engagement. Around the time that Prince Harry is coming to the UK, on the same day that Harry will be in the UK. And no one asks William, William, what about the timing? This is bad timing, you know? Why can't you postpone your plans for another day? Because let's have the focus, the attention on the Invictus Games participants. The family, <laughs> of course, the carnival. All so but won't demand William postpone their plans. However, when they see Megan working to put food on a table and her kids table, they'll be like, Megan, you know, announcing this new business venture, American Riviera Orchard, at this time is not the right time. Kate is ill. Charles also is ill. Megan, now is not the time. My family, when it's Megan, that's what you hear. However, when the royal family are planning events on the same day that Prince Harry is in the UK, my family, to try and take the attention away 
from the in Victor's Games participants, my family, and the in Victor's Games community, my family, you would hear so much as a whiff from the carnival of so-called experts. And that's why whenever Harry Meghan, you know, my family are working on their projects, they must never ever consider what William, Kate, Charles, Camilla, or UK Media think. They must do what they want to do whenever they want to do. Because Charles and William never ever consider what Harry and Meghan think or feel whenever they are making their own plans. So Harry and Meghan also, don't think about Charles, William, K. Camilla when you are working on your projects. Don't ever think about any of them. My family, please kindly, you know, continue my family hearing this. Actually, before that, you've also had this issue about Harry's court case, my family. Harry's court cases. The thing is, my family, Harry told us he had no intention of, of pursuing these court cases against the UK media. However, he was forced to because even after he and Meghan fled the UK, UK media did not leave him alone. Refused to leave Meghan alone. They kept hounding them. Harry had to try and find a way to get them to back off. That's what Harry did. So he sued the UK tablet media. He has sued Daily Mail. The Mirror, he has sued and won. The Sun, my family, also he has sued. My family, he has sued these tabloids because of what they keep doing to him and Megan. You know? Because of how they keep lying about him and Megan again and again and again, over and over again. And my family, it is disgusting what the UK media do. Disgusting and utterly despicable. My family, what the UK tabloid media, you know, do my family. So Harry Megan have every right in the world to sue the press. Especially when they are wrong. They have every right in the world to sue the media. When Daily Mail illegally published Megan's letter that Megan sent to Thomas Markle without Megan's approval, simply because they wanted to defend to, to defame Megan, to pay Megan in a negative light, Megan had every right to sue Daily Mail because what they did is illegal. It's illegal. And they knew what they were doing is illegal. But Harry told us the reason they believed that they could get away with my family illegally publishing Megan's letter is because they knew that Megan was not protected. It's because they knew that the farm were feeding Megan to the wolves. So my family, Harry and Megan have made the best decision to sue the tablets whenever. They have done something wrong towards Harry Meghan. Harry Meghan have every right to sue them. You can't expect Harry Meghan to just close their eyes as you continue to engage in illegal, unlawful, criminal activities against Harry Meghan. You cannot. You can't. But somehow, this carnival of so-called experts expect Harry Meghan just take it, put up with it, deal with it. I finally know. How they make human beings, and they don't deserve to be treated appallingly like how they've been by the media. My family, please kindly continue hearing this, please, my family. She's made herself unwelcome. She's reaping what she sowed. But broadcaster Atta Jewel thinks that the tabloid press is to blame. That all, that all. So, I mean, she she did invite a great deal of opprobrium by doing that interview with Oprah, didn't she? Before Oprah, she has been absolutely savaged in this country. Exactly. I am, you know, I completely support her. My heart's a little bit broken. It could have been the new era for the royal family, having someone who looks like my mixed heritage children. Mm -hmm. But she has been completely savage for nothing. What is her crime? Has she been partying with uh, convicted paedophiles? What, I mean, what has she actually mm. done apart from being a little bit ungrateful, which I think is her real crime? So you don't blame her not for point. not coming. Do you think it's a conscious choice? She does not want to come to Britain because she feels she'd be torn apart again by Definitely. the tabloid press. This is someone who has said that she has been suicidal. She reached out for help. She was not helped. It is about protecting her mental health. Mm -hmm. We've all been there, having to go to a family function or your in-laws and you don't fancy it. And I say, run. Ah, <laughs> Duncan Larkham. Yes. You... My family. Let me kindly pause there, my family. 
you know, UK media believe that Meghan is ungrateful. Because my family, she became a princess when she married Prince Harry. And that she refused to take the abuse and put up with the abuse towards her in exchange of having a tiara on her head. My family. So my family, let me kindly say this. Meghan had her life of her own before she met Prince Harry. Meghan had a life of her own before she met Prince Harry. Before she married Prince Harry, Meghan had a life of her own before marrying Prince Harry. Meghan was, my family, a self-made millionaire before marrying Prince Harry. You can't say that about Kim Wooten. You cannot. You just cannot, my family. You can't say that about many, many raw wives, my family, who've married into the raw family. You can't say that Kim Wooten was a self-made millionaire before marriage. You can't say that because it's a lie. You can't say that Camilla was a self-made millionaire before marriage. You can't say that because we do know for a fact that Charles was paying Camilla's bills and even paid for Camilla to have security before Camilla even became his wife. We know that for a fact. My family. But Megan, a self-made millionaire who knew her worth, refused to put up with their abuse. They arrested him in exchange for Tiara. And she said, I'm leaving. And now they call her ungrateful for simply refusing to put up with their abuse. They told Megan to go back to America. And she did. She did. And four years later, right now they feel hurt because Megan even won't, doesn't want to be around her abusers after being shown enormous disrespect again and again and again and again and again. My family. And you know what? Megan is making the right decision not to come over to the UK. Not to come over to the UK. She's making the right decision for herself, for, for her kids, for her own peace of mind. And I fully applaud Megan's decision. And the fact that today on Good Morning Britain, they were discussing why Megan ain't coming. My family, I call that a win. I call that a win. And I'll tell you why. My family, let people get reminded that Megan, a woman of color who married Prince Harry, does not feel safe enough to come over to the UK because of the racism, abuse, misogyny that she has experienced at the hands of the UK public media. Let everyone in the world see what the farm and UK media did to this amazing woman. Megan, the hell they put her through. Let the whole world see what they did to her to the point that she doesn't feel safe to come to the UK. Let the whole world see what the UK did to Megan, a woman of color. Let the Commonwealth see what they did to Megan. Let them all see it, my family. And Megan, by not coming, she's sending a message. A message. A message that UK media do not like to hear. That once again, Megan will continue to prioritize her peace of mind and her mental health. And also Megan will not grovel to her abusers to accept her. My family, the last straw to Megan, I believe, was what happened after the Queen passed away. I believe that that was the last straw. My family. And I know you believe the same thing, my friend, because the thing is, ever since then, Megan has never ever set foot in the UK. Ever since what happened to her, my family, in the UK. After the Queen passed away. Or UK media, instead of mourning the Queen, were busy bullying and busy Megan every single minute. For days, for days, my family. For days. And my family, no wonder Megan 
is not coming over to the UK. Because after what she experienced, clearly she doesn't want a repeat of what happened to her, my family. My family. Clearly she doesn't want a repeat of what happened to her, my family. Because I remember Megan looking visibly frustrated as she was leaving my family at the funeral. I recompense her even exhaling my family, like <sighs> making, making a deep exhale when he was leaving the Queen's funeral because of what he and Megan had to deal with all the entire time. So my family, <laughs> why would Megan come over after what she experienced my family? Yuki Media attacking her for, for holding a husband's hand. A wife holds her husband's hand while being a woman of color. Yuki Media, through tantrums, became abusive because Megan committed the crime of holding her husband's hand. My family. And they wonder why Megan isn't coming over. Megan, <laughs> we love that you are protected. Protecting your peace. I even love this discussion, my family. I love it. You know why I love it, my family? Because right now, these people are having to sit down and then discuss exactly why Megan isn't coming. And that clearly, they have to mention the role of the media in Megan not coming to the UK. They have to speak about their abuse. They have to talk about their relentless hate campaign towards Megan. They have to have a discussion on that. My family, honestly, if you want all this smear campaign to end, these are the discussions that my family need to happen. And the public needs to condemn this hate campaign towards Megan. It means my family end. Now let's hear what Duncan Lancome, who said when Archie comes of age, the tablet is going to have fun. Let's hear what he has said about Megan now, my family, kindly. It used to be royal editor of The Sun. Yeah. It's the tabloids would have done it. Utter nonsense, oh. I'm afraid. Yeah, when, when Megan turned up on the scene, it was a breath of fresh air. It was the Markle sparkle. The way it was reported was entirely positive. That's Harry, at the it. time... That's how I remember it. And, and Harry was one of the most popular members of the royal family, second only to his grandmother. And now within, within three years, effectively, in those opinion polls, they're second in the bottom, only above Prince Andrew. Is that a right to say that the abuse of, of Megan in the papers began before well, the Oprah yeah. interview? What, yeah. a, what abuse? What abuse? I He's think. Often described that. as descendant of a slave. I've never heard anyone describe well, yeah, that. When, when was she described that? Often, in what, in what the, newspaper? The, 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 My family, he wants to talk about what abuse? What abuse? Tell me, Clarkson, the perfect example of my family abuse. Look at the vile column he wrote about Megan. He says, What abuse? Danny Baker, my family, who racially abused Harry Megan's son, even before Harry Megan, my family, even, you know, had some time with their child, already they were hearing that son Archie was being racially abused. My family. Let's all talk about those, uh, my family, apathy comments, apathy racial slurs, my family, used against Megan by Eamon Holmes. It's still online. It's online. You can find it. My family, let's look at um, my family. What else? Let's look at how my family, you know, UK medium compared my family, you know, where Megan's mama, mother, Doria Ragland, my family came from, as my family, you know, a gang ridden neighborhood, Compton. My family. My family, we have. So many examples of the racism and abuse that Megan received. I'm sick and tired of hearing Duncan Lankup and so many other carnival of so-called experts who abuse Megan and Harry on a daily basis saying that, you know, Megan was a breath of fresh air. We treated her so well at the beginning. My family, within eight days into Harry and Megan's relationship, becoming public, Harry had to issue a statement Condemning racism against his then girlfriend Megan. 
my family. So please, they don't like talking about that. They don't like talking about that. They prefer saying, what abuse? Every day on TV, on their article that they write, the abuse maker every day. And then, when my family, we have a conversation about that abuse of, of how they abuse Megan. They say, what abuse? It is gaslighting of the my family highest order. It's too much gaslighting. And that must be called out. My family, because Megan is abused every single day by the media. That's a fact. That's a fact. That's what they do to Megan every day in the UK. They abuse her, insult her, not just her, also her kids. My family. Lilibet was bullied over her name. Just even just, just this year. This year, she was being bullied over her name. Just this year. And then all of a sudden, what abuse? What abuse? What abuse? Says Duncan Lancome. Who said that how is going to have so much fun when Archie comes of age? When Archie is like my family, 15, 16, or 18 years old. That how is going to have so much fun with him? To them, fun is racism. Abuse, insults. And then when, when they are questioned about the when they are questioned about their abuse, when they are called out on their abuse of Megan and her kids, they say, What abuse? What abuse? What abuse? The family, this stuff makes me sick to see. It makes me just sick to see. You know? My family, can you please continue my family hearing this, please, kindly? Yeah. In the newspaper, yes, it did. It, 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 Harry and Meghan have made that narrative that they were treated it's badly in, by the press, and, and they white. were not. I'll DM you. They were not. <laughs> <laughs> but it's in black and white. It's there. The way she's been treated, the way she was, you know, she's from Compton, from straight from the, all of this nonsense. She's a really well-educated Ivy League, independent, financially independent, successful person who was doing a lot of charity and purposeful she, things. She's very independent. She's broken off from her entire family, and now Harry's so, broken no, off. So, Family. Family. Genuinely. My family, when you have nothing to say, then they bring up, you know, Megan doesn't have a relationship with Thomas Markle, Samantha Markle, and now Prince Harry also doesn't have basically a good relationship with uh, William, Charles, my family for a long time. Harry even told us he and William have never ever been close for a long time. That was a creation of the UK of the media. And they hate that those lies have been debunked. And they prefer to blame Megan for those lies they've told be debunked by family. And their actions make me sick. Megan should not, I repeat, let me just clearly say this here now, my family. Under no circumstances, under no circumstances should Megan have Thomas Markle, Samantha Markle, or Thomas Markle Jr. in her life. And even according to court documents, my family, don't forget this of what we have learned. The Santa Red hired a private investigator to try and look for that on Megan. Find out anything, any dirt on Megan, and they found nothing. What happened? When they found nothing, they began offering money to the likes of Simon Rex to lie that he had slept with Megan. And not just that, when also he refused, here's what they did. They found out that Samantha Markle and Thomas Markle Jr., they harbor resentment because of Megan's success. You know, because Megan is the one who my family has an amazing career. You know, and none of them have what Megan has. And what did the UK media do? They used Samantha Markle to go after Megan, to attack Megan. And then all of a sudden, my family, this carnival of so called experts accused Megan of not having a good relationship with people who she never ever spoke to even before she met Harry. Samantha Markle, we learn in court documents, tried. To reach out to Megan when she found out from Thomas Markle that Megan was dating Prince Harry. And then Megan refused to answer her phone call. And when Megan refused to answer Samantha's phone call, 
What did Samantha do? Samantha went to the sun tablet. To my family, lie about Megan. Call Megan insulting, demeaning names. Ask Prince Harry, don't marry Megan, leave her. And then all of a sudden, somehow Megan should have Samantha in her life. My family. Prince Harry also has always had a dysfunctional family. He comes from a broken home. That's a fact. That's a fact. Britain's royal family is the most dysfunctional family on earth. That's a fact. That's a fact. Charles is supposed to be the symbol of unity in the country. But he's not. The guy is not even close to his own son. But somehow, it's Harry's fault. It's Harry's fault. Not Charles' fault. The family. Because they all know how happy they were to receive negative briefings about Harry and Meghan. They were so happy to be fed Meghan by the farm, by Charles, by Prince William. They were all happy to receive all those, you know, leaks, those negative stories about Megan that enabled the carnival of so-called experts to profit from the hate campaign towards Megan. And now that the goose that laid their golden eggs fed the UK, my family, what are they doing? They're complaining about her not coming back to be abused. By them. My family, Megan, is doing the right thing. Completely, my family. You know, also kindly please, my family, here at this place. If Megan came with Prince Harry, how do you honestly think the tabloids would treat her right now? Well, it depends what she said and what she did, I think. But you, know? but you don't seem to be saying, you, you have already condemned her. You've said that actually she deserved what she got, she was treated badly because of what she did. You, what did she do? What did she do? What? They can't tell you what. To be fair towards her or even encouraging and welcoming, are they? Well, I just don't think that the news works like that. We can't confuse, and this is what's been a problem all along, is a confused columnists writing their opinions to create debate in newspapers, but also social media comments from readers. Yes, she's had horrific abuse on those platforms. She has, yes. And, and I've, you know, I've defended her for that. Mm. But to say that newspapers, particularly the British press, mm. have just decided with this woman we're going to make her a public hate figure, is not true. Well, what do you <laughs> think, then? Uh, we, I mean, what we can agree on is that so she's not popular. My family, what have, what have I been seeing all these years? What have I been seeing all these years, my family? Because what I've been seeing here is an ongoing hate campaign against Megan on a daily basis for the past close to eight years. Every single day for the past eight years. My family. I know Megan is a strong woman. I know she is. I mean, after what she's gone through, my family, you have to be strong to survive what Megan has survived. I know Megan is a strong woman. But even she never ever deserved to go through what she has gone through, my family. Never, 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 never. Even criminals, my family, in the UK, aren't treated, you know, in this so, so poorly, in the manner or way, Megan is treated in the UK. That's a fact. That's a fact, my family. That's a fact. Even my friend Prince Andrew, who's been accused of sleeping with an underage, my family, you know, woman, even he isn't treated in the manner or way Harry and Meghan are being treated. And these individuals like saying Harry and Meghan are unpopular. Then how come they're always winching about Harry and Meghan? How come they're always talking about Harry and Meghan, who they say are unpopular? My family, the thing is, I'm someone who is unpopular. Nobody knows much about me. You know? No one talks much, my family, about me. About me, about me, Brian, about Brian. Because nobody knows me, who I am, fully, right? But Harry and Meghan are extremely famous. They are popular. But Tricky Media, who can't stop whinging about Harry and Meghan, my family, won't tell you that they are unpopular, that Harry and Meghan are unpopular it's a lie it is a lie my family you know please continue my family hearing this please kindly in this country out there if we did a poll on it now it wouldn't be favorable what's she done wrong 
Well, I think if you had to be her PR advisor and for her and Harry and you said, right, you, you, you've, you've had a good start here. Let's see if we can make you as unpopular as possible. I don't know more <laughs> that they could do to advise them. The way that they went off to America, the way that they, during COVID, when people were struggling, managed to cash in on the family silver, over $100 million, we're told, through deals. Then a, then a book spare. The My family, he says number one crime of Harry Meghan. Went to America. Number one crime of Harry Meghan. Went to America. Number one crime. He's been asked, what did Meghan do wrong? And the first thing he says, number one, Harry Meghan went to America. Number one. That's his number one. <laughs> that, that's when you know, my family, they have nothing on Meghan. Meghan never ever did anything wrong. Then he says, number two, Harry Meghan signed a deal with Netflix. The thing is, Harry Meghan step back as senior members of the family. First of all, escape the UK media's abuse. Harry Meghan wants to go to a place by the Rota Warner Base, South Africa, Canada, anywhere. Just as long as just as long as this uh, it's a place by this carnival of so-called experts like Duncan Lancome aren't there. My family. You know? And Harry Meghan, of course, need to earn a living. These people have spent years lying about Meghan and Harry. They had to correct the record. They had to tell the truth to my family. And the fact is, the farm never ever treated Harry and Meghan well. The fact is, Prince William, we know for a fact, he is the one who was briefing negative stories about Harry and Meghan. But do you see the carnival of so-called experts calling him a traitor? No, you don't. No, you don't. My family, because William was playing the game when he was briefing and leaking against Miss Harry Meghan. Harry Meghan, on the other hand, my family, by doing the story, using Netflix, through Netflix, my family, or through Spare, it deprived this carnival of so-called experts that chance of profiting from Harry and Meghan's story, my family, before anyone else. Remember, here's the deal. Members of the Rorota, those who cover their own family for a living, are supposed to have fast crack on any stories on the royal family. Harry and Meghan broke that pact when they decided to tell the story using Netflix and not through the carnival of so-called experts like Duncan Lancome through Daily Mail, The Sun. The mirror express my family. Harry and Meghan wanted to tell their own story in my family on their own. And guess what? They made money from telling their own story. This carnival of so-called experts have been making a fortune from the hate campaign towards Meghan and Harry. However, they don't want Harry and Meghan to earn a living themselves. It's hypocrisy of the highest order. It's hypocrisy of the highest order. And it must be called out. My family. You know? Then he says, spare, spare. My family. Harry said also in the that after the open interview, after Megan had shared that she thought of taking her own life, UK Media, instead of backing off, they continued their attacks and abuse of family. They continued their attacks and abuse. And they never ever stopped. And then they complained because Harry Megan now wanted to even reveal more because they refused to leave them alone. My family, if there's someone to blame. For the open interview, for Spare, for the Harry and Mega documentary. If tabloids want to blame anyone, they should go and look in the mirror. Duncan Lancome should go and look in the mirror, my family, because he's to blame for Harry and Meghan doing the Oprah interview, family. And Harry and Meghan did the right thing by doing the Oprah interview. They had every right in the world to tell their own story, my family, and that's a fact. You know? My family, please kindly, once again, my family, kindly please uh, hear this. For Winfrey, where they're accusing the royals for being racist. I mean, I, hmm. I don't need to reel off a whole list of things. It probably easier to no say list. what. Because there is no list. There's no nothing list. wrong. They had to do that <laughs> exactly. because they had to pay for security. And wouldn't you do that to defend your family if you when attack, you've been cut off? If you attack your family, oh, so, so, victims, so victims or people with toxic families can't speak out. No, 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 no of course they can. So never complain, but... never explain that kind of, we all know about mental health, about talking about mm. these issues and discussing 
it. So are we going back to that old trope? No, we're not. Ridiculous. No, not at all. But no, Hattie, what... do you think that they genuinely... My family, I think I've had enough. You know, my family, I think I've had enough. Thank you, Ate, for what my family, you know, she has said. You know? First of all, if you come from a toxic family, you have every right to speak up about what happened to you. These people would have had a vegan quiet as they put up with their abuse. My family never ever keep quiet. As Harry said himself, and I quote, silence only empowers the abuser to continue to abuse. So my family, I'm happy that Harry Megan told their own story. And it's despicable, really, what my family, Harry Megan, have gone through. And I do hope that my family heal from what they have gone through, my family, you know? And my family, as you've seen, the reasons he has given of my family why they're so attacking of Megan, my family. Really? Those are none reasons, my family. It's nothing. It's nothing. Megan did nothing wrong. She did nothing wrong. She did nothing wrong. And that's a fact, my family. These people have never been able to accept the Prince Harry, marry the woman of color, and that they have kids together. And forever and ever, Harry and Megan will be bonded forever and ever. Whether they can media like it or not, Harry and Megan will be bonded forever, my family. And my family, right now, I want to hear your opinion on what we have just discussed. God bless Harry, Megan, Archie, and also Lily, Bedana, and Doria. Bagland, and all of you members, God told me he never wins. Love wins, and stay tuned to this video. Love you also forever, and may God bless each and every single one of you, my family. Keep praying for Harry, Megan, and keep wishing them all the best in the world, my family. And uh, this liar, Duncan Lancome, is someone, my family, who clearly, you know, there are no reasons as to Megan you know, basically had to deal with all the abuse that she has dealt with. She's had to make fun deal with. There are no reasons for the hate campaign. My family. Megan never ever deserved what Tukey Media did to her. That's a fact. My family. That's a fact. And I do hope that Megan can heal from the pain that has been caused to her by Tukey Media and by senior members of my family, the royal family. Now, my family, I want to hear you opinion on what we have just discussed. God bless Harry, Megan Archie, and also Lily Petana and Doria Ragland. And may no perform against Harry, Megan Archie, and Lily Petana ever prosper. Stay tuned to the next video. Love you also forever and may God bless each and every single one of you. Stay tuned to this video. Love you also forever. What is about what we have just discussed? I want to hear your opinion family. May God bless you all and stay tuned to the next video. Megan Protect your peace. Protect your mental health. Megan, and you're doing the right thing. By keeping your distance from your abusers, Megan, you're doing the right thing. Protect your peace and your mental health. Stay tuned to this video once again. Love you all and forever. Hello, members of Zesco Family TV. First of all, I want to say thank you for all your support that you give us to our channel. We don't take it for granted that you support this channel. I want to say thank you from the bottom of our hearts for lending out your support and fighting against injustices, supporting Prince Harry and Meghan, showing them love. Love will always triumph over evil and for that I say thank you. Good will always prevail over bad. Thank you so much for all your support. Thank you so much for joining this community, this amazing community of Zesco Family TV. I love you so much family from the bottom of my heart and I wish you all the best. May you have a great, great day. And I hope that you enjoyed this video and learned a lot, a lot of things. With that and so much more, stay tuned to our next video. Leave a comment below, like, and subscribe. Love you, family. Always and forever. Sayonara.